Yep. And then the path is green for part of it, but not for other parts of it. So that's yeah. interesting. There's a hazard. Of course. See, so nice. <laughs> Hello, what a wonderful morning. It's a beautiful ride, so peaceful, especially in that parkland area going over to Tawantan. On the whole, I thought it was relatively safe and I thought most um, school children or any community would feel quite safe. There were just a few little areas that I felt where the paths were narrowing and also on some of the pathways, in particular along your Monday Road and a few other spots, there were um, edges that were on the footpath higher than the ground level beside. And as a cyclist, I know the difficulty if you get caught in that rut will throw you off the bike. And for a child or an elderly person, I think it's quite dangerous and it would only mean a bit of landscaping to correct that problem. But on the whole, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> I think definitely after going the road and coming back through the pass, I wouldn't do the road. Um, I would definitely choose the path over the road. Um, probably the areas that I would think about wanting change is the areas that had the green paint. They were only very small areas and only in sections rather than a whole strip. That was probably the most noticeable thing because where we're normally cycling, they're all green, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, along the paths. Maybe some signage. Mm -hmm. sort of letting them know the areas I mean there was that one area where there was the paint across the road for us to to all cross and the cars then knew and we knew that we could ride across and they would give way so maybe mm -hmm. some signage around that even just reminding them that they need to stop they can't just cross a road if they are on the footpath mm -hmm. and, may, and maybe for the kids taking their parents so actually doing it as a bit of a more of a family excursion mm -hmm. so getting mum dad and the kids all on and doing the paths together that would perhaps yeah, make mums and dads feel activity, a bit wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah see that their kids are capable and everything so yeah, no, yeah. It's great thing. well uh, the bike paths are terrific and i think council slowly it's been a progression of going from 1.2 meters to two meters to three meters and the more they do that the better look the where there's connectivity it's terrific 
where you've got to use the footpaths, it's, it's, it's okay as far as I'm concerned, but I'm, for little kids I'm not sure, yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know Gwen and um, the leader complained about drop-offs, so they just need to fill them up, but apart from that, it's pretty good. There's quite a few crossings across roadways, which you think twice about, should you have a pedestrian crossing or not? And I'm split on that in a number of areas, because pedestrian crossings uh, really impact the traffic with slow people. Uh, and therefore that causes irritation, etc. And I, I'm on, on the balance with that. But if it were an area that sc school kids commonly trafficked, uh, trafficked to school or tra went to school, I'd say put them in. The ride was fabulous. It was so much fun riding from Wallace Park to the school. Something that surprised me was how many roads we crossed. I'm used to riding on the road, but taking with the footpaths, there were lots of roads that we had to cross that were even a little bit dangerous if I put my, myself in a kid's perspective. As an adult, I know which way to look for cars, but taking this ride made me realise that we really need to make the roads a little bit safer. So. Um, to make it more user friendly, it would be good to have pedestrian crossings like zebra, stri zebra stripes across all of the roads going across to St. Teresa's and that would make it a lot safer um, because kids should be riding. It's so much more fun than driving in a car and you get to see nature. We came back on a way that I'd never been before and that was fun. I was exploring parts of Noosa that I'd never seen before. So get out and ride your bike, that's all I can say. Lovely ride this morning uh, in Karoi. 
Um, we went to all the schools basically on the footpaths. Um, we found um, footpaths are quite narrow, but that's how they are made. Um, but they are quite narrow. Um, and we found a few tree branches hanging over the footpaths, a bit of a nuisance in some areas. Um, and also, we, as we went to the three schools, in the one section near the school that was missing, um, that we felt that, that that could be completed, so that would give us a lot more access to all the schools, basically, on footpaths, which is great. Yeah. Um, and then further on, it's just narrow, there's no footpaths, and narrow, very narrow shoulders, very narrow shoulders, and speed limit being 80 k's an hour, so it's very dangerous, not suitable for riding at all for anybody, I don't believe. Yeah, so there'd need to be a bit of infrastructure put into the hinterland further out, especially to accommodate farm families. Yeah, definitely, definitely further out past the school, definitely. Um, there is, as I said, no footpaths and the shoulders are very, very narrow. The footpaths here are very narrow, so I don't think there's enough room, but that's a lot of money to expand the footpaths. Um, but I guess um, if everyone shares the footpath and they, they t get told they can ride on the footpath, that might be a good little symbol of a bike on the footpath, might be a good little sign saying that this is a shared pathway. Um, would be a great idea to educate people that they can ride on the footpath and also the, the walkers can know the people are riding on the footpath legally. One. Yes, um, so of course we had to push the bikes up there, um, but yeah, that's the only way across on the bridge. Um, there's a symbol there saying that basically no bikes, whether that means no riding the bikes or just no bikes, but um, we push the bikes up and around the ramp and down the other side. So yeah, very narrow pathway up there, I guess. Yeah, so it actually said it was prohibited. Yeah, prohibited so on railway property. Yeah, property, on property. And yeah. I would consider that's probably part of ra railway property. Yes, I believe it would be railway property, yes. Okay. Thanks, Darren. Thank you.